This poll, we're gonna put the young people are on top. It's like Mao's youth revolution. They are gonna tell us what they need to know. We're gonna let them decide what do they need to learn? How do they need to learn it? And the teacher then subjugates themselves from the role of teacher to co-learner and facilitators. We call this culturally relevant teaching, which was created by Gloria Ladson Billings in 1995. She wrote three papers in a single year, two on culturally relevant teaching and one on toward a critical race theory of education. We call it culturally relevant teaching today that the idea is that we're gonna find out where the kids are, culturally, socially, emotionally, and we're gonna use what we find to figure out what we're gonna teach them, but we're really just gonna facilitate them, but we facilitate them into political knowledge. The lesson, whether it's mathematics, whether it's reading, whether it's history, is a mediator to knowledge, and the not true knowledge is political knowledge. And if they become politically conscientized or awakened, or in the modern word, woke, then they will want to learn the math or the reading or whatever for the sake of being able to transform the world.